Hello and welcome back! I am Lord Ravenork, this is Civilization V, as Serbia. We've got six turns of resistance left on Brussels, then we can finally start making some money from here. But, we have a proposal to make, and I couldn't decide on what proposal to actually make last time. Because, as I'm sure you guys will recall, there was nothing really good, at least nothing good that could actually be, uh, be passed. Unless, you know, I would really like to go Rodnovere again, but, well, I mean, do you, do you think we could? actually pass it? I mean... I could get the other Rodnoveris to, uh... join me in this venture, which is France, Greece, and America. So, together, the four of us could maybe wrangle 20 votes maximum in favor of this. Of course, that's, um going up against, uh, how many is it? Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, uh, 30, 33, 38 maximum opposition. Though we could do that trick we had been trying to do last time and convince these guys to, uh, to throw away their votes. I mean, we could get three thrown away a piece. Also, I just realized I counted France in with the opponents, so we can take three off the list. And we've got, uh, how many spies is it that we could... two? And so with 20 turns, it takes about uh, six turns to, uh, move from place to place. That means each one could go to three opposing sieves. So we could knock out a maximum of six. Although it only takes away from their core membership, which is three. So six times three is eighteen. That would get the maximum opposition down low enough that it might actually be possible. Yeah. Oh, but there's a problem. Everybody hates everybody. I would get no fair deals from anyone, really. I'd have to pay exorbitant fees to get them to help me. And I just don't have the resources to... to do that right now. I mean, maybe once people stop hating each other so much and I get rid of this horrible, horrible deficit... No, no, it, it, it's too soon for another chance at Rodnoveri. What about ideology? I mean, it's... Getting world ideology is also pretty good. How many autocracy people do we have? Uh, not very many. Well, there are three of us. Against two order and three freedom. Mm. However, if we were to say take out the Soviet Union, steal all of their Tourism, which, you know, we are kind of in the process of doing, we might be able to 
shift the international influences more on autocracy and I'm not going to be able to do that within the next 20 turns to get the ideology one passed and for that we'd have even fewer su even less support like who are the autocratic countries again there's me Romania and actual Soviet Union god we really need to kill the Belgians So together, that's uh, 6 plus 3 plus 5, mm, 5. No, I don't think we could, with any amount of wrangling, actually get that pass. At least not at this point in time. Maybe in the future we might be able to do it, but for now... Hmm... Too much resistance wouldn't get passed. Too much resistance wouldn't get passed. Too much resistance wouldn't get passed. I don't know, maybe, but what's the point? Mm, might be possible to get that passed, but there's a lot of resistance. Probably would not get passed. No reason why I would want this. Could go with an embargo. Don't know why I'd want that. I could try to repeal one of these bans. You know what? I think we're going to try to repeal the ban on sugar. Yeah. Seems like our best bet at the moment. Never wanted that proposal to pass in the first place. Okay! Now that all that squabble is done and over with... We still have a slight problem with Belgium here, in that there are uh, huge pains in the ass. Do you think we could kill this unit right off the bat? I hope so. Hmm, at 23 a shot and they were already injured. Yeah, I think we can probably kill them this turn. And one last shot. Okay, so there's one down. Half a dozen more to go. You know, if we really wait until we can kill off these guys, we're going to be waiting fucking forever. I'm thinking maybe we could... We could... like... I lost my train of thought! Okay, science, what are we researching? Flight? You know, I had completely forgotten about this, but, uh... Yeah, we shouldn't be working on flight, because we need oil for the planes. So we need to get biology before we go flight. So I'm thinking we just research replaceable... No, we don't have the money to do upgrades. Well, we do, but we've got too nasty a deficit. So let's go biology first, then flight and replaceable parts. Okay. I... I think just kinda... sleep, everyone.
Hmm. Why don't you go there? And next turn. Yeah, we, um... I mean, I really want to go for Antwerp, but we can't really move in until we get rid of some of these enemies. This has got to be a joke. You don't have enough money for my incense. Sorry, Russia. I guess that's just what happens when you get conquered and reconquered over and over again. Sorry. I'd love to help. Except I don't want to help unless I can get something in return. Well, I, I don't know. Sometimes I like to just do nice things for the sake of it, but, um... At the moment, I can't really afford to do that, not with a 33 GPT deficit. <clears throat> I mean, look at that. that. That's insane. It's... Okay. Interesting move. I have an injured levy. I'm probably going to have to drag this session on a bit long. We're not going to be able to do much until we can deal with this and with this. So, I'm going to have to apologize because there's not going to be very much of interest happening for a little while. Mostly just bombarding Belgians. Wait. <clears throat> if there's a chance we can kill this guy in two hits, let's not start with the only other unit that can hit another enemy. <clears throat> of course, that underwhelming display makes it seem less likely we'll actually be able to get this kill in only two attacks. We could try using these Lancers. Who still need a name. Okay. You went and did some damage, now fall back. Now you... bombard the crap out of him. Dead! Not big surprise. Okay. Now let's see if we can do some damage to this guy. Looks like he's in a pretty defensible position. I mean, he is on a hill after all. Hills are fairly easy to defend. And the Belgians are pricks with their overwhelming military strength, which is completely unfair. But hey, it's my, I guess it's my fault for not teching up enough. And actually, I think maybe we should move these units up a little bit. Try to get more uh, line of sight on the enemy. Though it will require extra diligence in case they were to try to get too close. Let's see, enemy unit in our territory. There's all that stuff. 
Next turn. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> Why are you two at war? Why do you have to be at war? So it looks like Greece has my level of technology, while America has Belgium's level of technology. Oh, God. You have no idea how much I would love to take this. Like, like, seriously. Science is definitely something we need, but I... I can't afford it, not with this deficit. You see the deficit. Now, it's only going to last a few more turns, but I can't risk bankrupting my country within those next few turns. I need all the gold reserves I can. I'm sorry. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart. It upsets me that I'm not fiscally capable of making research agreements with people who, in hindsight, I actually don't like that much, I just remembered. <sighs> 